Each and every one of you are a hero because what you're doing supporting this turkey drive is you're ensuring that no one is left behind at Christmas time without a turkey. And that's not a small job, that's a big job to do. And I would imagine, yes, you probably have eaten a lot, a lot of popcorn and fudge and so on and so forth, but it's so worth it because on Christmas Day, you know that you have done your job to ensure that everyone has a turkey on Christmas Day. Now, we couldn't do this without you, and we couldn't do it without our firefighters who look after us 365 days a year. And they volunteered their time to help us with this turkey drive to make sure that all your work doesn't go unnoticed and that it makes sure not only that they collect these turkeys, that they are delivered to the people's homes once we get the total that we need. So, you know, some of you children weren't even born when the turkey drive started 20 years ago. But I have a young man uh, that left an envelope uh, for me that has spent close to 20 years in this turkey drive. And he wanted to ensure that his turkey got in there. And his name is Joel Murray. And he uh, volunteers his time, just like you do, every year for all those years. Now he's in his second year university and re trying to recruit people to volunteer and get involved, not only with the turkey drive, but other things in the, in the community. This school is very community minded. And I want to thank you. I want to thank the people at Food Depot Alimentaire and Dale Hicks for all their hard work. I want to thank all of the food banks that still have so much work to do and all their volunteers. You've done a fabulous job. You've raised hundreds and hundreds of turkeys over the years, and you're not only feeding hundreds of families, there's more